Hi everyone, guess you're probably wondering why I'm sat on the floor with a bit of wood in my hand and some kitchen stuff in a box in front of me. Well, I thought maybe the plan would be to try to put together a bit of a homemade orchestra, see what we can come up with. So, thought I'd teach you some basic beats, some basic drumming beats, and we'd also look at how to implement that on metal and on um, and on boxes and on plastic and music stand maybe. So, it's basically a stomp project, except we're not stamping or clapping, we're just using material from around the house, and maybe later on I'll see if we can do it with these, because you're going to say to me, but you're using drumsticks, and I'm going to say, right, but I can do them using wooden spoons as well. So, the basic beats we're going to think of to begin with are just our one beats. So, we might just have... So, one, two, three, four. I think that sounds really, really good on this um, on this pot here. But actually, what you'll notice is if I hit it in the middle, I get it to sound like that. Hit it on the edge, slightly different. So I might go. Or maybe on the edge. So I've got one. I can do the same thing on the smaller one, just here. One, two, three, four, both together. Let's see how that basic um, four beats in a bar works on plastic. So we've got this little, little pot here. So I've got one. So we hear from that one, it's lower and duller. It's not quite as bright as that one. This was a great one, so I've got this one, and then for something so small it makes a really good sound. This is just a little Tupperware pot. And then I thought, just for fun, I'd play the little plastic bear too, because he's cute. So I might have him. And he's got a deep roaring sound there. And then I can try the same one, two, three, four on my shoebox. Jumping down a bit. So those are my one bits. So then I could also introduce my half bits. So they're going to be twice as quick. So I might have a one bit going here. Then I might have a half beat. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can try that on this one. And. And. So I might want to switch from my one beats to my to my half beats. So I might go one. Then it might be fun to do exactly the same thing, but start switching around from instrument to instrument, okay? If you notice with this one as well, there's so many different parts, I can play it here. Or here, or here, or there, anywhere around. And I think at all, I could play, I could play the floor. So it works, so then I can start thinking about maybe putting something together, okay? So I can practice maybe my one beat to my half beat again, so I can go one, two, three, four, one, and two. Then I might think about mixing it up even more. So I might go 
one, half, half, one, half, half, one, half, half, one. So one. So just mixtures of one beats and half beats. So hopefully you're starting to see right now that I can get a whole like drum set just from things I can scavenge from around. Uh, let me see, can I bring a bin to the equation? That would be fun. Have I got one here? Uh, let's get that in the shot. There it is. And that works just as well too. So many things that I can play. Right, so your task is going to be to put together something and practice at home. And if you want to video it and send it in to me, you're welcome. So I'd love to see what you come up with, but it's to see how many different devices, how many different material can you get. I've got metal and I've got plastic and I've got cardboard. Let's just see what it sounds like as well. With these, can I do the same thing? Use these as well, so anyone going, but I've not got drumsticks. Hey, those wooden spoons work just as well. Right, so let's give a few examples of of what we can do. So I'm going to do some freestyle drumming now. So I'm just going to sort of, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to keep it simple to start with, and then maybe I'll get a bit more complicated as we go as I go through this. So I might start.
So hopefully I've successfully demonstrated that you can do a huge amount of music with very, very, very simple things. Metal pot, another metal pot, couple of plastic things, little Billy Bear over here, cardboard box, empty shoe box, and a music stand, and I even showed you. That you can drum on the floor. So hopefully that's given you some ideas um, to get creative. I really, really enjoyed doing this. I, if you want to send some stuff to me, that's great. I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye now.